of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Kickoff next here on EA TV. We're at the magnificent venue that is Old Trafford, Manchester. I'm Guy Mowbray. Alongside me is the former England striker, Sue Smith. And a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Manchester United, and they play Fulham. Well, thanks, Guy. It's great to be here. I think it's going to be a really good game today. Both teams will be well up for it, so hopefully we're in for a treat. Here's how Manchester United line up. Andre Onana is in goal. Aaron Wan-Bissaka plays with Diogo Dallo in the fullback positions, and they'll play with a lone striker up front. Good cross into the middle. And the defence tidies up nicely. Cross deep towards the back post. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Oh, a great chance. And that's nice and easy for the goalkeeper. Here's the Fulham team sheet. Well, it looks like a 4-2-3-1 when they're in possession. May go to a 4-5-1 when defending. You'd think the double pivot in midfield, they're key to protect the back line, but they also need to get forward to support the press. Hold on, chance here. It might still happen. Wan-Bissaka. Now to deliver a good ball in. And played in short to the near post. Still a chance off the keeper. And still danger here. Another brilliant block. That has gone out. It'll be a throw. Changes things. A goal for 1 0. Well, here's the replay, and it's a nice through ball to split the defence. And as soon as he's through 1v1 with the goalkeeper, he just goes for power and smashes it in the net. It's a quality finish. So it's 1-0 as the game restarts. Wilson. Pushing forward, now to make the right choice. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. And he's managed to keep it in. Dallow. Nearly half-time, and Manchester United just with their noses in front. Well, they've been impressive going forward. They've created some good chances too, but they've just got to make sure that they're going to keep it tight at the back. Could be something on. A terrific tackle. The chance has gone. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. And allowing space, and he's finding it. And that took a deflect. Scored! Second best no longer. It's level again. Well, here we can see it again. You do have to feel for the keeper. He's left completely exposed at the back, and he never really had much of a chance. It's poor defending, you have to say. And the game restarts with the score one all. Fernandez. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Off the upright. Well, that's how to clear it. Under pressure now. That's a nice cutback. And that has stopped any potential danger. Well, I was certain we were going to see some late drama there. So unlucky not to take the lead. But you just get the sense it's inevitable if they continue to create chances like this. Coming off the pitch, number 
10, Tom Kearney, to be replaced by number 14, Bobby Reed. Toss him. Castagna. Wilson. Options available in the middle. It was a great chance, but great defending too. This has to be. Surely. And that should do it. A late goal. And more than likely a winning goal. Well, take a look at this. The pace they show on transition. It's just so impressive. The defenders can't stay with them. And what a finish. He goes for power. It was never in doubt. He just looks so confident running through. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for them to take away, not least the three points, Sue. Yeah, it was a close game. Lots of energy from both sides. Quite evenly matched, weren't they? But I think they deserve the result overall. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Well, he kept going till the very end and got his reward. Lovely finish for the winner. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of smiles in the dressing room after that.